All right, this is Bryant Dodd from Stuff to Draw here on my YouTube channel and also the owner and operator of visionsengrave.com website. And what I want to do here is I want to give you something that may help you a little bit with your graphite drawing. And I'm not going to really draw anything here. Uh, I just want to talk to you and tell you about reference photos. And I want to tell you why it's good to use reference photos. And I don't want to go in the direction of telling you about reference photos for the purpose of drawing something that will look exactly like the picture that you're using as a reference because that's not the idea here. The idea is when we sit around and we're trying to draw something and we want to draw something and have our own style and be different and unique and we sometimes get a have a lot of trouble just trying to find the right thing to draw then we sit there for hours and sometimes 20 30 minutes we get disgusted with it and then we wind up putting our pencil and paper up and we don't draw anything and that's a no-no there because if we're going to get good at drawing we have to continue to draw so what we're wanting to use reference photos for it is a great thing to do if you're wanting to get new ideas or any idea at all maybe you're you've ran out of ideas you don't know what to draw and you're looking for something to draw i mean in my case a lot of times you know i draw a lot of landscapes so in my case i sit around trying to think of a different landscape that i can draw I want to draw, do i want to draw a body of water do i want to draw some trees how do i want the trees uh, to be in conjunction with the water do I want to draw some big trees, small trees? Do I want to draw some weeds, grass, or whatever, you know? So this will help you get new ideas. And it, it's really not just for beginner uh, artists, but it's for artists that has been drawing for a long time that just seem to run out of ideas. And uh, it's really a great way to get ideas. But the first thing I want you to show, well, I've got both pictures actually up on my screen here that you can see. Now over to my left, uh, you'll see the real image, which is my reference photo. And it's just an image that I've gotten off the internet. And it is a body of water. Uh, it's got the sun in the background, a, a mountain in the background. And it's got a large tree at the front of the water and some weeds and smaller limbs around it. And then on the far side uh, of the water there, you have a little couple of small trees and you got a man in a boat actually out there in the water too if you can see that as you can see compared to my drawing here now this drawing was based off of this picture and like i said in the beginning it's not to try to draw the exact picture it's okay if you want to hone your skills and, and challenge yourself and to see if you can draw something exactly like the picture that you're using for reference nothing wrong with that but the whole the whole idea of about using photos for reference is to get new ideas and to find something that you can draw and just use the reference photo. You know, there's nothing wrong with drawing just partially what's in the photo and then make up your own. Sometimes that's all we need. Sometimes all we need is a little kickstart, a little starting point. And that's kind of what, what I've done here. Uh, I've actually used the, the layout of the bank and the water, but I didn't draw everything exactly like the photo, and I didn't intend to. I just wanted to use it for some ideas. Now, if you'll notice in the reference photo here, I didn't draw this mountain. I didn't draw all of these little small shrubs or trees way in the background behind the water here. But if you'll just notice, instead of drawing the mountain in my drawing right here, I drew like a little cabin that you can barely see and I used some textures for some trees and some shrubberies that kind of covers up most of the, the house or the cabin. And then I did go out here in the middle here and draw a little patch of trees with some shrubbery there. And I also taken my water and I didn't use the exact same design or, or, of the water, the exact same shape, but I did it kind of similar but not exactly. And the same goes for my large tree that's uh, right here in the front. If you'll notice the limbs and the trunk of this tree, how they go out over the water and how you have uh, a couple of them just coming almost uh, straight up, but yet leaning a little bit. 
I did get that idea, and I did take and 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 kind of almost replicated it a little bit, but not exactly. I put my own little angles around my branches, and did my shading. You know, just how I like shading in my own style. And as far as drawing the the leaves on the tree, you know, I just drew some texture uh, in my own style, the way that I draw some texture for leaves. And I didn't really go for a whole lot of uh, representing a light source that is coming in on the tree. I didn't really go into that detail with it. This was really just a experimental draw, basically, and an experimental draw that I did uh, for the purpose, you know, of this tutorial here, just to show you how you can take a reference photo and use it just to get ideas and not necessarily draw the exact photo. Also, you see in my drawing, I've got these uh, cat of nine tails. Uh, some people just call them these cat tails. You know, I have these that I just made up and, and have placed in the front of the water on the bank. And the actual drawing didn't have those, but I just put those for my own ideas. See, drawing this water and drawing all these trees and, and, and things around it, I've actually done all the background first and I worked my way up to the front. But by the time I got up to the front here, I was just trying to think of different things to put on the bank to kind of fill up some areas here. And I just thought, well, I'll draw some of these cat of nine tails and put here. And the same goes for this little little campfire here too. Uh, I just kind of drew uh, maybe like some straw and some sticks, just kind of cross hatched, uh, like they're crisscrossed, you know, on top of each other and some smoke coming out where there had been a fire or it's just starting to burn. And I did get some ideas from the, the pile of dirt here. Uh, as you can see, I drew a little pile of dirt and my little limbs that has fell off the tree that's laying on the bank. I kind of got those ideas, but I didn't go exact as the reference photo uh, as far as this one, one big limb laying right here on the bank. I just drew a smaller limb, a skinnier limb, you know, just laying there with some, you know, with some leaves, you know, attached to it. And... I just kind of did some texture over to the right of this campfire just to give it maybe a little smooth bank where actually nothing is at. Now if you go back to the other side of the water here over here in my drawing where my trees are, you can see I kind of got the shape going around the water here as uh, opposed to my reference photo. I didn't draw it exact, uh, didn't try to do it exact. But I just got that idea. I like that idea of being able to have this water uh, drawn out here and the actual bank you can see that goes around the water. And I just wanted to represent that. So, and I also didn't draw anybody in a boat either. And I drew my reflections uh, coming off of my tree here and some reflections off of the back of the trees that's in the middle of the water here and a little bit of reflections around the house as you can see there but the whole purpose of using a reference photo is is not to just draw something exactly like the photo now, now there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do but if you're running out of ideas you need some ideas and you just don't have a starting point then go online search for whatever it is you want to draw in this case i wanted to draw a landscape so i just uh, put in the search engines landscape images and it brought me up a whole page of images to choose from and this is the picture that I've chosen. So it's really great to get a starting point for ideas and even even the seasoned artist that has been drawing a long time, you know, sometimes we need ideas. Uh, sometimes we just don't always have it to pop in our heads but we want to just draw something because we love drawing. And that was kind of the scenario I was in when I chose this picture here of trying to think of something that is different, something that I haven't drawn before. And, you know, if you've drawn hundreds of pictures and you feel like you're running out of ideas, then pick up a reference photo offline and you're not uh, infringing on anyone's copyrights by trying to draw or sell the exact same photo or the uh, exact same drawing of the photo but you're making it your own and that's what it's all about using the style that you have and making it your own i know 
I've been there and, and, and have done it myself, but I know we want to get good at drawing and we want to, you know, go online uh, here at YouTube and we want to take all kind of lessons, all kind of video tutorials on how to draw, how to shade and how to do things. And sometimes we get caught up and we get stuck in somebody else's style. Well, one way to break that and to have your own style is once you learn to draw a, a body of water, once you learn to draw some trees, some grass, some weeds and shrubberies and things like that, then draw it in your own style. Draw it the way that you know how to draw it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look like someone else's. And as a matter of fact, you don't want it to look like somebody else's because once you start your own uh, drawings and you start selling your own work, then you can say that you have your own style. Um, that's, that's, you know, like me, I have my own style. I have my own way that I do textures when I'm drawing trees. I have my own style when I'm shading a tree. I have my own style when I'm drawing my body of water. I even have my own style when I'm making my reflections. You know, and there may be other people doing it kind of similar to the way that your style is. But be, to be able to put your style to good use, use a reference photo just to generate ideas from. That will give you a starting point, And then you can draw in everything else the way that you know how to draw it using your own style. So reference photos are really great for getting your own ideas when your idea bank has run dry. So get you some reference photos. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Everybody do, does it or almost everybody. Some people may not do it quite as much, but there's nothing wrong with it, especially if you're looking for new ways or new ideas and you just can't seem to find any. I know I've sat down before and, and waited, mm -hmm. thinking, drawing, and tearing up my drawings that didn't look right, uh, trying to come up with a fresh idea. But when you get a reference photo like that, it will, it's really a template. Just think of a reference photo as a template of placement, a template of placement of where you want to place everything. And you don't always have to place it in the same spot where your reference photo is, but it will give you an idea. And it, it, just looking at the reference photo itself will spark a different idea on something for you to put there. For example, in this reference photo, when I looked at the mountain, I thought, well, I really don't want the mountain in the background. So I'll just draw a little house, a little cabin, and just different things like that. And on the left side of my drawing here, this little small section of the bank where it comes around the water, you know, I didn't draw my trees, you know, straight up either. You know, I just kind of leaned them just a little bit to make it look like they're just old and have been there for a little while. So I'm going to quit rambling. Just use you some reference photos. This will help spark you some fresh ideas. And it will also help you to create your own drawings with your own style. It will help you set yourself apart from everyone else. That way when you put up a website, you put up your own pictures that you've drawn and you do your own video tutorials, then people are going to recognize you by your own style.